back. I think I'm actually going to just redo those for you guys now. Um, a quick what's in my purse now, um, and my current planner organization, and um, a little, a couple other organization things. The planner one will be a separate video, but the other organization things I'll put in this purse video. So let's do the purse one first. So it's heavy. I am carrying a coach poppy. I don't know what. Um. I don't know which one it is exactly, but it's um, a tan color with um, pink. I'm trying to make sure you can see it. Okay, with pink stress, and then there's like a, a really dark pink. That's not the interior of it at all. But it actually is the same color as that. So let's dive right in. The very front pocket has my keys. Uh, my keys uh, consist of a... Vera Bradley keychain, which I love. I got this at an outlet store. It's my favorite Vera Bradley pattern, which is um, Safari Sunset. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite pattern. And they had one of these in that pattern at the um, store. So I was tickled pink. I got it. It made me happy. Um, I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. So a Harry Potter Deathly Hollow symbol. Um, key to my safe, a key to my locker for work, my house key, um, key to our neighborhood stuff, car keys, um, a flash drive that has some documents I want to keep on it, and my key card for workout anytime. Um, and I also have another flash drive that's currently plugged into my laptop right now um, that's usually on my keychain, but it's not right now because it's in my laptop. So let me put those back before I lose them. Okay, so then we have in a front pocket, I have um, an appointment card for one of my doctors. I have um, some reward zone cards that I just keep on one keychain. Um, I have my paper brain planner, which I will, I keep looking over here to make sure everything I'm showing you is in frame. I'm not trying to ignore you and be a bitch. I mean, rude. Sorry. I'm going to try not to cuss in my videos so they're like user appropriate, I guess. Anyway, um, my paper brain that's upside down, um, which I will show you in a separate video in a few minutes. I'll set that to the side. Um, my, oh, I need to cover that. My wallet. Um, my ID is on that side. This is also a Vera Bradley. It is in the, I think it's called Plum Crazy, maybe? It's Plum something. Here, there's the pattern. It's Plum something. I don't remember what it is. Um, the inside looks like this. There's some money in here, not much. I'm not rolling in dough like some people might think. You have a coach purse. You must be rich. Nope. Um, a Dasani water bottle. And I'm gonna stick right there because I'm actually getting thirsty. Oh, I had to pop my back. It felt good. Um, I have a lot of Vera Bradley and coach apparently. This is not helping the whole I'm not rich argument. A Vera Bradley umbrella in the same um Safari Sunset pattern. What I love about this is this button right here. Can you see? Oh, there we go. That button both deploys and retracts it. It's awesome. Um, it makes me super happy. It's my most favorite umbrella ever. It's the only time I've actually had an umbrella, and I've consistently used it. So, I mean, that must mean that it's awesome, right? Right. Just kind of throw things down there. Um, this is the pen pouch that goes with my paper brain, which I will explain in that video, but that's what this is. Um, hand sanitizer, it's a must. Um, this one has aloe in it, though, because it's supposed to, um, let me use some right now, actually. It's supposed to help keep your hands from drying out. Um, where I work, I handle a lot of money, and my hands dry out so badly. Somebody told me that um, money is actually made out of cotton fibers. I didn't know that. Is that true? Um, if it is true, that's kind of cool. But that's why that it dries your skin out so quickly because the cotton fiber absorbs the oil out of your fingertips more easily. 
um, when you're handling it all day. So I constantly am putting lotion on my hands, and I have to keep my hands really clean also, so I'm trying that to see how it goes. Um, some Milky Way Midnight Candies. Some of that kid at heart. Um, I'm trying not to be, though, which I'll make in a separate video. I'm also I'm going to be doing some workout videos as well. Not me demonstrating working out, but talking about my workouts and my workout regimen. I'm just going to go ahead and eat that. Oh yeah, good life choice. Um, oh, that hurt. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Dave Ramsey, but Dave Ramsey has a money envelope system where any money you make, you get in cash, except for bills that have to be paid like online. All the other money you get in cash, and you divide it into envelopes. Um, you give each envelope a category, and when the money is out of that category, you're done. You get no more money until the next paycheck. So this is my version of it. Um, I have dividers that I made, and it's got the envelopes in there. There's also my paint calculator, and there should be two pens in here, but I only f am finding one. Yeah, there's only one pen in here now, but um, in case you care, the categories are ready to buy. That's for things that I have money for. Bills, needs, build it up, wants, Christmas, and empty envelopes. The build it up section is for things that are really expensive, but I don't have the means to put all of that money towards it in one paycheck like that's amazing. Um like paying for my wedding, I don't have fifteen grand just chilling in my pocket. So that's money I'm having to put aside, you know, a little bit every month so that I can build it up. Hence the name for the build it up category. Wants is, you know, material things that I want, um, needs is things that like I really need, like I need food or I need new clothes or new shoes, something of that nature. Um, bills, self-explanatory. Um, Christmas, self-explanatory. What I usually do is I write then a family name, like my brother and sister-in-law and niece go on one envelope, and I write down what they're what gift they're getting and how much it's going to cost, and then when I have that money, I put it in the envelope, and when I have enough money for everybody's gift, then I go out and get their family their gifts, and then whenever I get something that I want, I rip the folder in half and I tear it into little pieces, and it's really satisfying, believe it or not. God, that Milky Way Midnight was so good. I need to get more when they're on sale again. Stay. Um, I have some dental floss, which I actually used the other day. We went out to dinner, and a piece of food was stuck in my teeth, and it was just making me bonkers. So when we got into the car, I took out my handy-dandy dental floss, and I got rid of it. Um, I got this, actually, from the dentist when I went and got my teeth cleaned. It's five yards. It's a five-yard sample. That's a lot of floss, isn't it? I don't usually use um, this kind. I usually use the eh, eh, picky ones. Because they're just easier. I don't like wrapping this around my finger. I don't like feeling spit on my hand. Oh. So I usually use the picky ones. But, you know, this one's good, too. I like it. It it serves the purpose of being in the purse kind of one. You know? So let me stick that back where it goes because it wasn't in its right pocket. Um, a Milky Way Midnight wrapper. Um, <clears throat> moving right along. Ooh. <coughs> this is a new system that I just recently implemented. It's a coupon folder from Office Max. It was like $2. Um, and then, well, let me show you the coupon folder. No, there's no way to really go through this well. So, And then I also have a checkbook flip thing from a Coach wallet I got a while back. Um, the wallet has since been put not really put to rest, but retired for now because it's kind of dirty. I've used it a lot. I'm, I'm kind of over it. I really... Um, this is so I can write down and, you know, track my money. I'll show you a blank page. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that there's nothing like revealing. So, blank page. 
just to write down everything I spend money on. Because I've been finding that I spend a lot of money on things I don't really need right now. And that's not good. I also have a receipt book. Now I got this because going along with the whole envelope system, I couldn't always remember. Like I would take money out and I would allot how much each subject, like envelope got. But I couldn't remember later how much I had put into each subject or, you know, whatever, whatever. So I started, I bought these and I've been writing it out. And so, like, one of them that I wrote is part of my $100 withdrawal went to um, the wedding fund. So I wrote a receipt for that and I stuck it in to my thing. And I'll show you this in a second. And then I also have... Um, This isn't too revealing. This is okay. I can show you this. This is my um, bills that I have every month. I don't have a lot of bills. I'm very lucky that my parents um, still cover my phone bill and I'm living in my parents' house and my dad lets me drive his old car and he pays for my gas. Um, so I'm very, very, very fortunate for that. Um, but the bills that I do cover, um, I could never remember how much the bill was or when it was coming out. And I would always forget, and it was making me bonkers. So I made this handy dandy little little chart. Um, I haven't started the personal trainer yet. That's actually going to be starting soon. Going with my um, with a new theme I have, learning to love me again. Um, I want to try and lose some weight, and you know, learn to love who I am and my body and all of that again. So anyway, that's off topic. But anyway, so anytime I spend money on a certain category, I put the receipt into its category. So the categories I have are bills, money envelopes, food, fun, organizing, cleaning, craft, clothes, and other. And this is what it looks like. So whenever, like, for example, I, when I bought this, I put the receipt into the organizing category. Um, when I bought, I bought a ton, a ton of sewing patterns from um, Hobby Lobby. They were on sale. Simplicity patterns were on sale for 99 cents a piece. Awesome deal. So I got like $170 worth of sewing patterns for $10.59 exactly. But anyway, the receipt for that went into the craft section. Um, clothes, I recently bought some clothes from Hot Topic, the um, Disney princess shirts, because I'm a Disney princess, in case you didn't know. Okay. So that's that, and I just, I wrap this thingy around it, and it holds it all in one nice unit. I really am liking that system. It's working well for me so far. Um, dear, I keep this pink folder. It has um, some mail, which I so I'm not going to hold this up open. Um, some and then coupon sleeves for things I want to get coupons for, but this way I don't have to carry around my giant coupon binder. And then I also have my things to do after graduation folder. Um, that's what this looks like. It's divided into one, two, three, four, five, five sections. Movies and shows, home, craft, books, and random. Movies and shows are things that I want to watch because I didn't get to watch while I was in school. Home is cleaning. Craft is crafting. Books are reading. Random is random. It's pretty self-explanatory. There are concepts for a princess backpack I want to make. Some Disney shoes I want to paint. Some files I need to create. And um, some things that I want that I need to put into um, a different format so it's easier for me to deal with. So that's what's in my purse. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later guys. Bye.